bright duty every student matters now uh, till now i have discussed a couple of methods with you which are used to assess personality of an individual uh, i have discussed the method of questionnaire with you i have discussed the method of case study interview observations with you moving on to the last method which is a rating scale technique when we talk about a rating scale it's basically a device which is used for recording the extent or degree to which a person is perceived to possess a defined attribute so every person has multiple traits multiple characteristics and features rating scale is basically a device which is used to record to what extent or to what degree a particular person has a specific trait this rating may be done it could be self rating as in you are doing it yourself or somebody else it rating you know your traits for you so what is his understanding what is his assessment whether you know you are a lonely person or a very sociable person so you may be rating yourself or somebody else may be rating a particular trait of yours this rating may be done on various points could be 3 points could be 5 points could be even 7 points moving ahead uh okay let's say that you have to assess you know generosity in a person how high he is in terms of the uh, virtue of generosity so let's say the question designed may be do you spend more money on others than on yourself now on a three point scale the options or the response alternatives may be as follows first one could be always yes i always spend more money on others than on myself second response alternative could be sometimes yes sometimes i spend more money on others than on myself third is never so never do i spend more money on others than myself so this is a three point scale a five point scale may have these response options or response alternatives or options such as always often sometimes rarely and never so a rating scale may have three points may have five points may have seven points now that is up to the developer of the rating scale okay now we talk when we talk about a rating scale there are two important people involved one is a rater one is a rating a rater is the one who rates a particular trait in another individual and a rating is a person whose trait is being rated upon by the rater now uh, let me take you through the advantages of using this particular method of rating scale it helps to overcome the drawback of questionnaire second is that assessment using a rating scale is relatively more accurate because it has a lot of response alternatives ratings are there you can rate your response as 1 2 3 4 5 till maybe even 7 the judgments of two or more raters can be pooled and they may be averaged because of this possibility or this facility the validity of this particular rating method or technique increases this rating scale is used widely in business firms it's used in industries it's used in educational institutions and even in clinics now drawback of this particular rating scale method is halo effect halo effect refers to the rater's bias which further affects the accuracy of rating now the rating tends to overestimate or underestimate the subject based upon his or her likes and dislikes at times what happens is the rater let's say you know he favors the rating or he discriminates against the rating which means either he uh, gives him a very higher rating that you know the person does not really deserve or does injustice with him by giving him a very low rating so that is what is halo effect that's the rater's bias which further affects the accuracy of rating similarly 
Familiarity and strangeness of the subject also affects the rating. If the rater is already familiar with the ratee or if he is a totally, you know, a stranger to him, that is going to have an impact on his ratings also. How well can he rate him if he is, you know, totally a stranger? So it's important that the rater may not be too familiar with the ratee also. If he's too familiar, then it's important that he should keep his biases separate. He must not be a total stranger also to the rating. Otherwise, he cannot, you know, rate in a proper manner. He cannot do justice to the rating. Therefore, using a rating scale requires a good training experience and also an objective attitude on the part of a rating.